Hi, this is Jim, and today I'm reviewing the Hikaren Bluetooth OBD2 engine code scanner. It's a Bluetooth attachable code scanner that you plug into your car. It works with, um, with software such as Torque Pro, uh, which is actually included on this disc. Um, what's with the Panda Disc, guys? Is everybody in China use a Panda Disc? This is like the fourth one I've seen. I mean, yeah, he, he's a very confused looking panda. But anyway. So this right here, underneath the dashboard of the car, is where the where the device plugs in. And I assume gets its power from. There we go. Let's see how tough it is to get a lamp. Okay, we're going to try the, the obvious way, which is to hold this button down until we get the blinky flashy. Is that you? There it is. Got to enter the pin. One, two, three, four. Done. And it's paired up. Oh, that was pretty easy. So now that we know that works, we're going to try the accompanying software. See how that goes. Come on. Get back to home screen. There we go. Alright, so we're going to go to Torque. Set up vehicle. Extension that. Let's see. No, 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 no. Create new profile. Stop that. This is for my Saturn Ion. I assume that's, yeah, yeah. Okay. See what it's getting for fault codes. Tap here to scan for fault codes. Now it's actually the engine light is on, so I know it's actually um, it should kick back some kind of a fault code. Stop autofocusing. Okay, so the powertrain one I've, I've heard about before. And the evaporative emission control leak detected is actually because my gas cap is loose. Go away. Hmm. 
Okie doke. Real time information. It gives you all sorts of information there. Pretty neat, huh? Clear log, start logging, add display, toggle, calorie, layout settings. Huh. So you get all sorts of settings to, f to find out what your codes are and and what the issues are. Test results, graphing, adapter status, git plugins, all sorts of different things you can do to, to get more and more information on about your car. So anyway, this is Jim. I've been reviewing the OBD2 adapter. Seems to work very nicely. Um, anyway, I hope this review has helped you guys out. Have a good day.